It's time to move. Let's get started. It's not what it seems. It changed in 2012 when scientists at the Center for Nuclear Research from Europe in Switzerland were studying something called exotic matter. They were using the Large Hadron Collider, the biggest machine in the world. It smashes subatomic particles together to try to discover the secrets and mysteries that make our universe work. They weren't ready for what they found. For in the vibration patterns within the exotic matter was non-random ordered data. But we don't know where it comes from or who sent it. Some say it's the work of shapers. They try to shape humanity because this exotic matter influences human behavior. It has effects on people. It causes inspiration, great works of scientific discovery, artistic achievement. But in some other people, they're sensitive to it, madness. XM is everywhere. There's trace amounts of XM here in this arena. Where does it come from? Portals. Portals are openings from somewhere, perhaps another dimension, but not of this realm. We aren't really sure what they are, but we know exactly where these portals are. Since portals emit XM, they inspire creation. Humans are drawn to these power spots. They build great sculptures and art centers of creativity and discovery. These places are concentrated in the great cities, but they're found everywhere on Earth. Have you ever had a feeling about certain places? There's a reason for it. Portals have been around since before we know. Some say they're even responsible for civilization. Is this intriguing? It gets better. Like any good conspiracy theory, secret government entities and corporations are seeking to weaponize this XM technology before we even fully understood it. The National Intelligence Agency, the NIA, was pulling strings at the Niantic project at CERN and pushing the research at a dangerous pace. XM exists in only small quantities, so you need an army to collect enough to do anything. Well, Niantic developed a tech to harvest it, and they found an army. It's you. The technology, it's here. Everyone has one. There's a battle for the future of humanity going on all around as we speak. You have the weapons. Will you choose to become an agent? Millions already have. The mass harvesting of XM8 by agents worldwide and the subsequent testing in Switzerland led to a mysterious accident known only as Epiphany Night. Researchers were exposed to large doses of XM and started making amazing and disturbing discoveries. The NIA covered up the accident. Truth seekers became aware of it and have been trying ever since to figure out what happened at Niantic. This scanner, which up until today you call the mobile phone, has the technology to interact with this invisible XM. It can use it to create constructs like portal defenses and weapons. So how do I move? There's, w, there's no W, A, S, and D keys on this. You move just like you learned to move in real life with these. You have to actually go to these places to interact with the portals. Walking, running, biking, kayaking, boating, mountain climbing, 
you have to get around. The world is the map. The map is the world. Ingress is here, in Bergen. It's in Oslo, it's in Sweden, it's in Europe, it's in America, Africa, Australia, and even in Antarctica. Yes, right now, ingress agents are everywhere battling for control of your mind. There's ingress agents here amongst you right now. This very hall was created by an architect who was inspired to build it right here on this spot because there was an XM portal. What are those blue things? Are those portals? No. Those are control fields. When two of these portals are captured and linked together, they can be linked with a third portal and create a control field. The actual population that lives under that area is now controlled by the blue team, the resistance. Capturing those mines is how ingress is done. Some portal links are very long. Those agents had to go to the Faroe Islands to get the portal keys needed to make those links. The team that controls the most mine units is winning. But controlling 600 million mine units takes a lot of time, teamwork, traveling, planning, and strategy. Ingress agents combined have traveled more than 127 million miles walking. They've captured millions of portals. So what about you? Will you sit by on the sideline and be a mind unit? Or will you join the fight to help? Or will you fight against the unknown forces that are sending XM into our world? The resistance team believes that Earth has been invaded and influenced by exotic matter for too long, since before we can even know. Humanity is being shaped towards unknown ends by alien beings. The resistance believe they are protecting humanity in its purest from the influences of XM. But they have to use XM to fight against shaper influence. They fight to keep XM technology locked away. The enlightened believe that the main source of human evolution and creativity and inspiration and science comes from XM. They embrace shaper technology. They fight the resistance to spread the influence of XM around the world. Sometimes Niantic puts on official live battles. We were lucky enough in Bergen to have one in last summer, where agents from all over Europe, including Scotland, Finland, Denmark, Estonia, Germany, France, and Spain, came here to fight it out. We had over 300 agents ready to rumble, and we had a great time going all over the city fighting each other for control. Teams have to use strategy, planning, to capture mine units, make portal links, and capture special volatile portals. After four hours, the Enlightenment team won the day. But in the global world war, the resistance took the Interitus anomaly. But everybody stayed for the after party. Cross faction, a lot of fun. I hope you're ready to make new friends from all over that you never would have met sitting on the couch. Sometimes team make independent plans to capture large areas for their faction. They take a lot of time planning and preparation, but the payoff can be really big. Local operation here connecting portals in Itrona, Plata, and Oske covered all of Osana in multiple layer control fields. Some agents spend a lot more time making months and months worth of planning and sending keys for travelers around the world and the payoff can be almost total domination. 
but the battle's never over. Just a few weeks ago in Oslo, we had an official Niantic Mission Day in Oslo, a cross-faction event where people came together to visit some of the coolest statues, centers of creation, portals, and hidden places you never would have found without ingress, and we had a great time. Social events and dinners before and after made friends with both enemies and friends, and I'm really glad I met all those people. If we haven't convinced you yet with the activity and the experience, maybe we'll get your interest on the gameplay and graphics. You can capture a single portal by yourself. An ingress agent is never bored. There's always something to do. But when you go with your team, you can do really incredible stuff. And you'll have a lot of fun. Which one of you gamers has the best graphics hardware? Who's got the best rig? Raise your hand. I do. It's reality. Actual gameplay footage from Ingress involving mountain climbing, going to the sea, taking trips out to islands to capture special portals and lighthouses. Maybe you're more of a pure speed guy in hardware. Well, Ingress uses some of the latest tech. You're going to be connected by 4G to a real-time, online, worldwide, massive, multiplayer, augmented reality experience. You'll have it, since you're on the go though, you won't be able to carry your computer tower with you. You're going to need lots of extra batteries, and you can get advantages with wearables. You can get advantages through communications, with your other teammates acting as operators, overwatching you, guiding your maneuvers through the city so you can outmaneuver the other team and create control fields. We hope that you're as psyched as we are to have all of our new agents. So come up after the presentation and we'll help get you going. Now we're going to call up the Resistance to tell you about their team.